For the more technical savvy that actually want to fix your lid lock switch, um, rather than replace a new one, if you do want to replace it, use my links down in the video description below. But otherwise, um, you're going to unplug your lid lock, unscrew it, those two screws, unscrew it, take out this connector. It does not have locking pads, it just pulls. Pulls out from this connector. You're going to release three tabs, one tab, two tabs, three tabs, that little black lever down there to get the solenoid or mechanical me mechanism out. If you're hearing it actively click, you can repair it. If you're not hearing an active click, you cannot repair it and you will need to order a new one. Um, I have taken this apart. I know exactly how it works inside. You do not need to take this part apart. You're going to need a T8 Torx. You're going to stick it in this hole here. And you're just going to tighten it. You can see how the lid lock is up a little bit. Um, what happens is over time, this screw, when screwed in, increases the tension, the downward force on the actual lock. So by screwing it in, you're tightening um, the downward force allowing it to extend and lock. Mine was not extending at all. It was, um, even though it was actuating, it was not actually extending out. So I tightened this screw all the way. To allow that to come down, increase tension. And if we plug it back in, for testing, put it into green and spin start. Sometimes they want a good minute to reset. Turn it off, one one thousand. Open the lid, close the lid, drain and spin, start. Open the lid. Not a big fan of these old school washing machines. Either way, um, I have tested it. I just need to turn it off and wait for it to reset. I don't know if it's one minute, two minutes, whatever it takes before it actually decides it wants to try again. Um, but I have already done all this and the locking mechanism, that little black post um, does in fact pop out now. So there you have it. This screw hole right here is the uh, tightening mechanism that decides how much force can be exerted. Before, I didn't feel any spring action. Now I feel an actual spring action. Um, inside here, there is a solenoid. And that solenoid basically pushes forward a little 
click lock mechanism, like a mechanic, uh, like a ballpoint pen, and it turns a gear. One turn pushes out and locks it. The next turn pushes it forward and releases it. So it's a click on, click off, click on, or click on, click off, click on, click off. If you want to know how to release the locking mechanism, if your lid is locked, locked, um, like when this is fully forward and it's just locked, either in the machine or outside of the machine, this little slot right here, you can stick a pick in that little slot, push it forward, and it will um, engage that same, that same spring mechanism. Push it forward, and then it will release all the way. There you have it. If you need to order a new one, use my links, like, and subscribe.